bring that up. That, I mean, he always gives people advice. Yeah. So, have you given him advice over the years? Oh, I give him more advice than he gives me. <laughs> yeah. What does he ask you? Uh, I, I don't know. I just always try and make him loosen up, have a little more fun. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? He's good. got a pretty serious job, so, you know. And Drew, sorry, you got into pop at about 17, 18. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So you're, in, you're a bit of a pop teenager. Well, I love this song. Yeah, he knows every word to every Mariah Carey song. Yeah. Oh, when I, was, I love Mariah. When I was in fifth grade, I locked myself in my room and uh, learned every word to the entire Daydream album. <laughs> really? Yep. What's your favorite Daydream song? Oh, Fantasy. Oh, I love Fantasy. And Matt, I was researching you, and your first two was that you bought were Aerosmith, the Beatles and the Bodyguard soundtrack? Yeah, so um, I wasn't allowed to listen to secular music when I was a child, so <laughs> there was only like a few <laughs> mainstream artists that I could listen to, but um, I kind of worshipped the Bodyguard soundtrack. You can't go wrong with the Bodyguard is, soundtrack, yeah. it's perfect. Great vocal. He's my yeah. Bodyguard! <laughs> and also um, produced by David Foster and yes. Jordan, as one of your mentors, is, how did yeah. you meet Mr. David? He's a producer, a Grammy Award winner, Very amazing scary. guy. Yeah. How did you meet him? Um, I, I, I was actually like ambushed into meeting him. I showed up and uh, he was eating next to my dad and they had like struck up a conversation and uh, I didn't know who, I didn't know what he looked like so I didn't know who it was and he just started asking me all these really serious music questions and I was like, uh, sorry, what? And my dad was like, oh, just so you know, it's Dave Foster. I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, okay, okay. Just a big deal. Yeah, yeah. My special guests in studio this morning are from LA, the court 100 handed, brand new band. I'm gonna play one of their songs now. It's called Love Me Like The Weekend. Oh, so ready for this, <laughs> you'll enjoy. 100 handed, welcome guys again. Now let's hear the track. Um, from the EP you out today called Love Me Like The Weekend. Yeah. What a cool track that is. <laughs> Thank right? you. That's the first track you wrote for the, for the um, EP? Yeah, it's the first song we first did song for the band at all. Yeah. yeah, it also gelled and everything. Huh? It all gelled. Yeah. 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 And with the EP, uh, the guy behind it was working with you. It's also written for Fasnos. Uh, yeah, he didn't do that one, but uh, yeah, we've been okay. working with uh, Mike Green. Yeah, he, uh, he did a lot of the new five seconds songs. And you mentioned before the break, David Foster is yeah. one of your mentors, and he helped you, I guess, behind the scenes with this mm -hmm. EP. And what did he give you as far as advice goes for this project? Uh, well, we we got this uh, "Let Me Like the Weekend" to a place where we thought it was done, and so we sent it to him, and of course it wasn't. <laughs> and so you know, he listened to it and he loved it, and he said it was really close, but gave us you know like three or four notes, and then uh, we went back in and kind of redid it again and sent it back to him and we got the thumbs up and so we moved on to the next one did the same thing he just it's a great set of years to have on any song you know i took the album called i feel like six <laughs> yeah. what's that about true <laughs> <laughs> yes it's about me no. <laughs> it's just a song about feeling good you know it's yeah like nothing's better than sex yeah so. exactly right. exactly right <laughs> now the cover of the ep is quite colorful to say the least oh, yeah. um the concept who was the concept Matt? Um, I think we all kind of came up with it together. We just wanted to have this kind of morning after a party type thing. Yeah. yeah. Everyone sort of wasted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or was. We got the sad prom queen, the yeah. you know, buff dude with the mustache, and the little guy. Now, I was on your social media um, the other night, and um, you came across, in, was it Drew in the, um, in the pajamas on, on the plane? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. How yeah. comfy are those pajamas? Oh, very. Extremely yeah. comfy. And they had a kangaroo on them, so. <laughs> and you I get to keep them nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. And those slippers and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, there was a post on your socials um, Snap, Snap, Crackle, Pop. Oh, yeah. Your favorite cereal? Uh, one of them, I think. It's debatable. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I grew up eating cereal like every meal of the day, so I just like, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I really did. <laughs> You've got to discover our cereal down here. There's like wheat bix that's really uh, cool. I'm still like oh, halfway through the candy. Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I've got some in my pocket. <laughs> and I know that you guys love chocolate. Oh, yeah. So... Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> I thought... Oh, I've had one since we've been here. Really? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm not even waiting. I'm going in. Oh, going in. Yeah, because crumble, by the way. In this... Yeah, butter crumbles are Australian delicacies. Yeah, right. And um, 
in this <laughs> in this track, um, she was the one. You actually quote Balak Pumble. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. how did you discover the Balak Pumble? There's one uh, one store in Santa Monica that has them, and I was just like, I just grabbed one randomly one day years ago, and. Yeah, I haven't looked back since. <laughs> you are right. That was the beginning of my addiction. Okay. You must discover some of our chocolate bars because they're amazing. Just saying. Oh, we I had Marvelous say. Creations for the first time. Today. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That really, really good. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Um, Thanks for having and us. have fun in Melbourne. You're leaving tonight. You're going to Canberra tomorrow. Yeah. Doing yeah. the Sky. Skyfire. Yeah, Skyfire. Yeah. That should be fun. With the first you Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a great Aussie band. Yeah, cool. uh, we're going to play the new single called She Was The One from the album which is due out today online. Get a copy, it's called Like It's Saturday. Yeah. Do you want to introduce it for us? Yeah, this is She Was The One. You want to? Thanks guys. Mm -hmm. 